Here, all new at six. Police wanting answers after they say a local hospital had security escort a very sick man out of a hospital. Someone called 911 after finding the man collapsed just steps from the front doors. He still had medical tubes coming out of his body and ended up in the ER. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie now live outside Piedmont Rockdale Hospital. Mark, you talked to an officer who helped rescue the man. Yeah, we went to an address where the patient had apparently lived. We tried him by cell phone. We got a statement in behalf of the hospital, but we also have reviewed police documents, interviewed a Conyers police deputy chief, and reviewed a 911 call. And those things say a lot. Conyers 911, where's your emergency? Hi, um, sir. I am uh, leaving out this medical complex, and there is a gentleman. Um, looks like he just came from the hospital, but he is passed out on the. Ground. Common sense dictates that you do not treat human beings the way that we're seeing in this particular case. He's not responding. I don't know if he's okay or what. The call came to Conyers 911. It's at the Piedmont Rockdale Hospital. From a concerned citizen. Poor guy. But it probably needs an ambulance, not a. But he's right in front of the Piedmont Rockdale emergency um, entrance. Says Conyers Police Deputy Chief Scott Freeman, who says he's concerned too about the circumstances of a 68 year old man's discharge from Piedmont Rockdale Hospital Thursday based on what he and other emergency responders saw firsthand or later learned. He was clearly incoherent. Freeman says one of his officers documented that a hospital employee said the 68 year old man had been staying at the hospital 35 days, that Medicare would no longer continue to pay for his treatment at the hospital and that security dressed him and walked him out. The deputy chief says an officer was told the man was, as a report says, cleared as fit to leave by two physicians and the hospital wanted him gone. I don't have a good feeling about it. I think it's inhumane. A statement says at Piedmont, our purpose is to make a positive difference in every life we touch. We can only provide the best care with the cooperation and consent of the patient. It adds, we do our best to connect patients in need with community partners and social service organizations to provide appropriate after hospital care, but ultimately accepting these services is at the discretion of the patient. Literally ejected out to the sidewalk. Uh, with no help whatsoever. That's just not how we treat people here in this city or this county. Freeman says National EMS and Rockdale Fire responded and a paramedic told him the man had a fever, signs of sepsis, which Freeman says is a dangerous internal infection, a urinary tract infection, an elevated heart rate. He says he was loaded on an ambulance to go to the ER. He needed to be in the emergency department. Now, Piedmont Healthcare says, unfortunately, Hospitals often find themselves caring for people who cannot get into the kind of facilities that bridge the gap between hospital and home. Freeman says that a hospital employee indicated when asked when, uh, where he wanted to, be, to go on hospital property other than inside, the man said Milstead Road and Milstead Avenue, and that's where Conyers police found him. We sought a response from Medicare. An email said, we are working this for you. Reporting live in Conyers, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.